Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here with my fiance Kelly. Hi. So we just got back from the Mind Game event. It was awesome. So shout out to Heather. She's an associate that works for Neiman Marcus. She's an amazing woman. I bought a few fragrances from Mind Games and I bought some other fragrances which I'll talk about in a further video, but I don't want to talk about it now. But she's an amazing associate. I'll leave her information down below if you're curious to buy any Mind Game fragrances um, or buying discovery sets. I'll leave her link down below to the website. My game event was awesome. You guys saw some pictures. We actually met the perfumer um, for some of the fragrances. Currently, we don't own any fragrances from her, sadly, but we smelled them out, and they smell fantastic. We're going to talk about five fragrances that you guys should definitely check out if you go to a Nemo Marcus or you go to a My Game event that these five are pretty bang. We should, they all smell amazing. All 10 do, but these five you should definitely check check out first to get your nose on it. So my five, and Kelly's going to give you her five. So my five is... My number one favorite um, is Gardez. You guys heard about it before. I talk about it a lot. So that one has orris slash iris and leather. It's a fresh leathery type of scent that won't offend anybody. It's very nice and easy to wear. My number two is Kaiza. I have a bottle right here. This is Kaiza. Beautiful presentation. And it's a 100 ml bottle. Runs for $345. Comes in a little card inside. And the bottom tells you 3.4 ounces fluid, which is cool. 100 ml bottle, come with a beautiful presentation. This is a silver collection with the chess piece. And all these pieces you can play chess with once all the fragrances are done and complete. They're coming out with 10 more or nine more. And in, in um, <laughs> if you know how to play chess, trust me. Yeah, definitely gotta learn how to play chess. But in the fall, winter time, they're gonna come out with 10 more, um, which is gonna be awesome, excited for that. Bottle customized, which is pretty cool. So this one here has white, guardian, yang, yang. And this one's kind of has this floral, fresh component to it very easy wear and it's kind of fruity and gourmand at the same time this is like more like a female fragrance i know some people say it but a man can wear it as well i enjoy wearing this one a lot and my friend jerome likes this one as well my third favorite which i smelled today i instantly loved it on my skin it was double attack i thought i wouldn't even like that because i smelled it on a test strip and it smelled pretty good with chocolate but it has a freshness about it because i think there's mandarin in there um, and there's actually cho bitter chocolate and there is some saffron there, which is really nice. It's a freshly, fresh fragrance with some chocolatey touches, but it's not too thick chocolatey where you can't wear it like in warmer weather. And she smelled on my skin. She said it smelled pretty good. Still on my skin right here. Number four is Jadoop. That's a fruity fragrance. It's kind of uh, fruity and it has mandarin, orange, and pomegranate, which I don't have any fragrance that have pomegranate, which is kind of weird. Seeing it from a fragrance, you know, um, pretty awesome. Number five. I like, which I thought I wouldn't like it, but now I wore on my skin, Blockade. Blockade is very good when the perfumer actually made that one. I know some people say it kind of gets that Creed Aventus vibe as well. Um, I want to say more like, there's 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 not a smokiness to it, but there's like this freshness about it. And there's a fruitiness about it where you can kind of look similar to it, but it's not the same fragrance. Um, if you test it out, definitely check all, try these fragrances on your skin. Please don't do the test strip because it's going to smell different on your skin. Kelly's going to give you her five that she likes. Kaiser as uh, you know uh, I think I'm putting that as my my number one and then check me yeah, uh, really right uh, Kaiser and check me are always like going between my number one uh, really hard to pick between them always going between those two so the bottle the real bottle. quick it's funny because she was gonna buy Kaiser first and I was like all right cool because I didn't know if I really wanted to buy Gardez I did like it but it was towards her birthday too that year I want to get her something nice for her birthday because I know I was going to come back and get another fragrance 
down the road but i want to do something nice for her she don't have a lot of fragrances but stuff like this she does wear it. not all the time but special occasions she wears it and she likes yeah, it i'm not an everyday fragrance person uh like chris is and then i put blockade i don't think that smells at all like aventus so there's mango there's some fruitiness in it there's some fresh it's very nice easy to wear fragrance for a man or woman but i feel like a lot of men like that fragrance a lot yeah blockade uh i felt like at this event um i had like a renewed appreciation for uh, I mean, I always liked Blockade, but uh, just a renewed appreciation for it or speak about it. Um, Her story behind it was really cool how she went about these fragrances. Once she's done a list, we'll talk about, I'll tell you the four that she actually created and made herself once we get done Kelly's list. Uh, Castile uh, also it's nice. Uh, got a new appreciation for that one as well. That has like fig, it's kind of tropical like and very nice. Very yeah. nice one. So if you like to know the Fig, I don't have many Fig fragrances in my collection. I have Fico Amalfi, but that's the only one I have. But Fig is a very, a really great note to have, have fragrances. And I felt like it just really uh, stood out to me more this time than it has other times. Uh, so I really like that one. Uh, Grandmaster, which I feel like, which is like the bit. So Castile is like the last one that they go over and Grandmaster is the first one that they go over. <laughs> Um, and so I feel like both of them I had sort of forgotten about from the other events, um, even though they're like the first of the last ones that they go over. So they both stood out to me more uh, this event. Um, Grandmaster, just say by I nose, it's coffee slash rose scent. So if you like the note of coffee, you're going to like this here. Very nicely blended. All these fragrances smell fantastic, but you're probably not going to buy them all because they are expensive. Now these go for $345. They do have a discovery set of um all of them they have on an actual website you get two mil i think it's 75 dollars for two mil you get all 10 of them and i think it comes with a 50 dollar gift card or 25 dollars. don't quote me on that and when you purchase your first full bottle i'll leave the website down below definitely check it out this is not a sponsored video by them i just want to tell you where you can buy your stuff at but they all smell great i think Anybody that tries a lot, you're going to find one or two. You might find three that you love. These are five that me and Kelly both like. Will we get them in the future? Maybe. I got to save up for them. But these are ones that we definitely do like that we would wear. It's not like we just want to buy it just to buy it. So they were nice enough in the video. They gave us a gift. So Kelly's going to open up. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll open up the video here and, and see. I so. think they said it was like a champagne thingy. Oh, cool. So. Beautiful presentation, which I showed you guys earlier in the video. Yeah. They I wasn't, had, like, wasn't expecting to get any gifts, but it's awesome. Yeah, they had like, uh, they had food, they had champagne, they had, um, there we go. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, little bottle of Prosecco. Ooh, fancy. That's just cool. I like that. A little mind games glass. Cool. Since we both got one, that'll be cool. I have them in the house. Bed. Have some fancy. Uh, we'll do. Maybe I do a video down the road. And I'll have that drink and while I talk about when they're fragrance every time. See cool. how long it lasts. Break things. Uh oh. You know, you know I break things. Mm -hmm. Not like we'll use them often, mm -hmm. but you know. And then. Couple samples. Samples. Oh, we got here. Blockade. Oh. Jadou. And Casio. That's awesome. Well, all right. Then we got three samples here, which we do have. We do have uh, one of those fragrances. Already have okay. Kaiser. But those two, are two that we both like. Two of them that we put in our Which we do want to get them. So. Maybe my box has diff will have different, different samples. Ones. So that yeah. would be cool. So we'll have to check it out. Yeah. I think it was an amazing event. If you ever get a chance wherever you live at in the States, um yeah i think and, they're going all they're around they're going around i think you're going from like they're going to the east coast to the west coast if you ever get a chance to go to one of the events or you see them advertise it on social media definitely go there for experience whether you want to buy something or not there's no obligation to buy anything there no, go there and try it out or not but you're going to find something you might want to buy so be prepared to spend some money if you find a fragrance that you love you want to buy these fragrances are very special when you find one that you like you know that you're going to smell very uh great you're going to smell very expensive and feel mm -hmm. like you have a very um, unique type of fragrance in your collection. Where are these fragrances? You feel a little bit more appreciation. Even though it's 345, I can tell you now that I've been out several times wearing Kaiser and not one person smells like Kaiser. Now, there's some people that bought the bottle there, but we all don't live in the same area. But it's very hard to find somebody that has these fragrances on unless you're a fragrance fish now like I am. 
most people aren't. So if you want something different and you're going to break the bank a little bit, um, check these fragrances out. The events are awesome. And you learn a lot about the brand that maybe you're not in fragrances. And I showed you guys videos of the actual notes they had. It was so beautiful. They had the, the actual notes of the fragrance with little oil inside and they dabbed it. You could smell it. They had the real vanilla of it. It's just, it's, it's very beautiful. And I think if you want to learn about fragrances or you love fragrances and want to experience a master class, you guys should definitely do it. Um, I love that I went there for the two hours and I wouldn't take it back for the world. One of the best experiences I had and I've been doing YouTube for almost seven years. Kelly, give her a last bit. How do you feel about the event and which people should, should I go or what? Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's like super interesting. You guys know it's not, this is Chris's thing. It's not my thing. I go with him and I do really enjoy the experience. It is really interesting. Um, so even if like you're not like super into it, I mean like the science of it and everything like that, it's it's really interesting and it's a great time and it's really fun to meet people and like you get to have these conversations. Um, and you know, like especially if you guys are watching these kinds of videos, you like this stuff. It's a good time. You'll enjoy it. Um, you really and I mean like even if like you're shy, like you don't have to like you know, you don't have to with, mingle with everybody. You can say hi and just pretty, listen to the event. The opposite of her. I was <laughs> gonna say I'm really extroverted. He's pretty introverted, <laughs> but you know when it comes to like this fragrance stuff, of course he's like that's his time to shine. He's gonna be talking about that stuff. It makes it like a little bit easier. Like you can kind of geek out with people <laughs> who are interested in the same things as you. Um, so yeah, like if you feel like shy or you're like oh I don't know about it, like these are your people. Yeah, it's, it's very easy, time. very comfortable. Nobody thinks they're better than anybody else. The perfumer there, she was amazing as well. We talked for a while. I was trying to let her talk to other people, but we had so much of a great conversation yeah. in depth. And she asked her what her favorites was from the brand on top of which one did we like from her. But the actual ones from that she made, which I forgot to touch on, she made Double Attack, which I like a lot. Blockade. She made Blockade. So she made the one white bottle for Blockade, the one black bottle for Double Attack. She made... um. Castillo. Castillo, that's the white bottle. And she made Scholar Mate. That's the other black bottle. So she made two black bottles and two white bottles. They all smell great. You know, they have their choice for everybody because some are a little different than others. And at the end of the day, I think I found Blockade and Double Attack both smell amazing. And those are fragrances that if you want to garner comments, you want people to give you attention, those are those type of fragrances. I'm not saying to buy and you're going to get a million comments. No, but these are fragrances that people are going to say, what are you wearing? What is that? Like, you're going to smell very different in and people are going to want to know what you're wearing. They're crowd pleaser type of fragrances. But you should spray them on your skin first, see if you like them. Don't just buy them because, oh, your comments. If that's your thing, go ahead. I've never thought about that. If, I want, if I'm want, if i paying $400 for fragrance almost, I better like the way it smells. I don't care if Jerry, Mike, or Sarah like the fragrance at all. It's more about my inner self enjoying the fragrance. Take it however you want with a grain of salt. But yeah, definitely try to go to these events. They're awesome and they're amazing. And you learn a lot and you don't have to break the bank. Go there, experience it. Now they're going to, you know, tell you which ones do you like. And they may say, hey, you should pick it up today. You don't have to buy nothing. But it's sometimes it's hard because they smell so good. You want to get one and walk away. You do. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being on the video. Sure. If you guys enjoy this type of content and you're new here and watching for a long time and haven't subscribed, it's absolutely free content. Make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. Um, I would appreciate that. Like the video if you want to see more of it like this in the future. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you miss any future content or upload videos on my channel. Be safe, everyone. Me and Kelly care about you guys around the world. And we'll catch the next video very soon. Peace. Bye.